Hello everyone, and today we're playing an indie short horror game called Watershed. Let's go, go, let's go and give it a try, or try it out, or play it, or... <sighs> let's just play it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everyone. I am having trouble speaking today. Oh my god. Oh, life raft. Oh, a flooding happened. Hmm. Oh god. I am... I am getting concerned about our planet with the whole climate change. Ugh. Whoa. Okay, well, here we go. Let's go and rescue some people. Probably not. I hear someone helping. Oh. Come on, hello. Hi. Okay, I won't be reading all of this stuff. All of this... Screaming for help. Okay, I'm coming. I won't be reading all of that. Um, just because... I won't be reading... Well, that's a really creepy doll. Hello. I won't be reading all of the, uh... Oh. <laughs> that was... Oh, that was Microsoft Windows. I won't be reading all the TVs, just because that does take a lot of time, and I think you guys might enjoy us playing the game. But if you are, if you guys want to read this, you can. Coming. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, shit. What the hell? That gave me a key. Let's go to that door. Shit, shit, shit! And we can't get over there because of this little... ...thing that is... ...blowing away. Oh, shit! Oh, that is disturbing. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. He's like screaming help from the television. Like he's in like a show or something. Oh, that is... That is... Oh. <laughs> that is something not to think about. Okay, these TVs are evil. Okay, let's go over here. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a Greek statue. That is impossible to read. Okay, we almost lost air. Okay, I am literally about to run out of air. Okay, we will read that when we find, like, more oxygen or something. Yeah, I'm about to die. How long is this? Oh. Okay, it saves. Yeah, I think reading the televisions helps save it. Okay, let's go over here instead. Okay, there's a chair. N is that fish? No, it's a frying pan. Okay. It's hard to tell because they're all 2D sprites, but... Let's try going in here. Oh. F shit. And we're dead. Get up! Okay, I don't know for sure what I am supposed to do. Hello? Hi? Yeah. I had enough time to go in here. Oh, it's slow down! But the more I go, the more faster it gets. Okay. So we want to just try walking. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm at a loss.
It's still going way too fast. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and look this up. I'll be right back. Okay, so I, f th I know what we need to do now. Get up! Bullshit! That is so much bullshit. Someone's reading the doorbell. What is this? What is that? Oh my, um... It's another way we can go... Don't use it yet! What? Why can't you use it yet? Oh, no wonder why this mission is failing. Because you have no gas mask, you idiot. <sighs> I'm gonna have to do that whole shit again. Slows down. Thank you, statue. Let's try going down under here. It was a trick. First gas mask. No? Can't use gas mask, huh? Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Just run. Perspective is terrible. I'm sorry, it's just hard to see. It's also very creepy. There better not be a f fish in here. I was trying to think what the, you know, the theme that everyone recognizes because it's, you know, fish. We had fish since the beginning of uh, humankind. And yet I forgot the name of it. By the way, this music is great. So far, I'm liking this. By the way, what time is it? This is professional. <laughs> Trying to find the time while you're playing the game. <laughs> Just wanted to know what time it was. <laughs> Making sure it's not too late, not too early. Sorry, I have a life. <laughs> What I mean by too early and too late is, like, sleep-wise, so... And we're doing okay. Oh, we're good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really nervous with this game. I do not like underwater. That's why I could never, ever play Sonatica. I, like, when I did play Sonatica, um... I was okay, but the reason why I stopped is this one time... It was so scary, I just had to stop playing. It was also because I didn't know what the hell I was doing in the game, but, you know. 
Mainly because I was terrified. <laughs> okay. Let's sit down. It's another gas mask. Where the hell am I? Where the hell is this? I don't know what that is. Shit. So clearly there is monsters around here. Probably should not stay here way too long. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Where's that door? Where's that... door? Did I run into it? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? What's down here? Whee! Goes that lo that lovely music. Where's the TV? Okay, here it is. Hello. Hi. Conditioning, my hair conditioning, my air levels are not doing so good. I think they all say the same thing. Where are we going? Sorry. I'm scared. Oh, shit. Stop it's following me! I thought I saw something move. Okay. <gasps> you sink deeper into the cold darkness. Nothing waits there but death. But it's too late to stop it now. From the Gate Flood and its Lawn Aftermath, over 170,000 lives were dead or missing. Lawn strips of land and infrastructure was destroyed beyond repair, with unfathomable long-term consequences. The Western, the Western world has not seen such damage since the war. Oh my. This is sad. <laughs> I guess we quit. Yep. Oh well, that was uh Watershed. I really enjoyed it. It was a really interesting game. There wasn't any jump scares, and I like that, because it really got my head. Well, obviously, because you guys saw me, and I was, like, panicking the whole time, but... 
There were, there was one jump scare when we opened the door, and that figure, that creature, like, stared. And I guess the creature staring at us was a jump scare. That was more just terrifying than actually a jump scare. But either way, this was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was creepy. It was depressing. It was also interesting, the story, and... Oh, it was just... The sounds and that, that weird TV noise we got was just creepy. And I just... I like these games that have, like, underwater things. I, I love going underwater. Well, I don't love going underwater in real life. I do like swimming, but I definitely do not like swimming in the ocean filled with creatures and God knows what else. Um, but I do like horror games that use the ocean because it's a good, it's a good tactic because the ocean is really scary and there's great things you could do with the ocean, especially with the water and just how the more deeper you go, the more, you know, darker and creepier it gets. It's just perfect for, uh, for horror type of stuff, so... I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice awesome, have a nice and awesome day. And thank you creator for making this. I really enjoyed it and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice awesome day and goodbye. <gasps>